Welcome everyone, my name is Sparrow and today I'm gonna show you all the endings of Rat and let's do it! Nexus. Most of the energy was beamed through a rip in the sky. But luckily, the Elder summoned a bit of the power to town and contained it. The power wouldn't last long, but it was a start. As for the remade one, when the Elder Bat reappeared in town, most people thought the kid was wasted. But I think they just changed too much to ever feel like the town was home again. No one knew if it was an accident or if the kid did something wrong, but the ultimate price was paid to finish the job. When the Elder returned to town with that heinous drumstick, the townsfolk looked a little disturbed. I think they probably wanted to ask what happened to the kid, but they were smart enough to know that they didn't really want the answer. The strain of turning on the power must have been too much. That kid was toast. They became something... not recognizable. I guess the townsfolk were just defending themselves, but when that poor thing found its way back into town, it was all pitchforks and bats. What a terrible way to take the forever sleep. As the power nexus was transformed, energy entered the kid, filling their body with immense power. There was a reason that he never explained exactly how the kid was supposed to power the town. But as the Elder emerged to play his role, it became clear. The kid was meant to literally power the town. The surge from the power nexus must have boosted the signal, because the cathode raiders finally got their transmission. But it wasn't the one they'd been waiting for. Had the Menders of Lore finally returned to finish what they started all those years ago? An emissary was sent with a recording of the transmission to show the only one who would know for sure. Sierra Zen of the Transfigured also picked up a transmission, a psychic one, from a very powerful mind. It took her a minute to understand the thoughts she was picking up. They were... Complex, alien, terrible. The Menders had arrived, but they weren't here to save the world. They were here to devour it. As a keeper, the Elder was able to access the Menders Shadow Network and contact the Vestigial. They too had been deceived. Together, they remote hacked all of the Power Nexus sites that the kids had activated and reversed the flow. The entire Mender fleet just poof, vaporized. The Menders had been devoured yet again. Hopefully for good this time. Even after the Menders were gone, there was a lot of work to do. But in the end, things got better. We got better. And I'm making these recordings so we don't forget what it took to get where we are. What those kids went through. Well, it's hard to sleep sometimes when I think about it. My dad, he used to work the gate in town. He knew those kids. He said that we wouldn't be here without them. And it's up to us not to mess it all up. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below and have a nice day. See you.